Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So this, this is all about standing AB and A deduction. So we have the standing series, the traditional Pilates series on the, on the reformer. But for some folks, that's a little scary. It feels a little unsettling and not very secure. Um, but I love that series. I also enjoy teaching this one as well for my beginners or just to give even my more advanced clients a little bit more information or something quite different to think about. Because one leg is really standing stable and the other leg is moving in space. So to set your clients up for this, I'm using a very light therapeutic yellow spring. And I'll talk about an alternative if you don't have a spring that's, that's light, that is that light. Um, but to begin, you would align their sternum, their midline, up with the back edge of the headrest, right? And so here, I can line myself up for both a B and a D duction. And I like to also use um, a magic circle, just so the upper body has some security and something, a floor to reach into for a little bit of extra stability. So if we're working the AD is in dog duction, the foot that's closest to the foot bar will come and rest um, on the front shoulder, just in front of the front shoulder rest. And so we're here, and you would just pull the carriage out so that the knee is in line with the hip, and then slowly return. And you could activate pressing the circle on the way out and then pulling the circle apart on the way in so that you're mimicking the movement of the upper body and lower body. Um, and you could just do, you know, a few repetitions of this. This may be all that your client needs. Or you could challenge them by pulling the carriage out and then holding. And so this becomes a little bit more of work, right, and more isometric um, strengthening in the inner leg line. So that's one variation. You could also have them hold and then ooh, start to releve, lift the heel and lower the heel, keeping the carriage still. I'm lifting and lowering. You're monitor monitoring this hip is reaching down and that the full foot is reaching into the floor and that their ankle is nice and stable as they're doing this. But it just adds another challenge. You could also keep the foot flat and add some rotation to that isometrical hold of the adductors. So lots of things you can do and get very creative to offer a variety here. You could also use hand weights. Um, Lots of different things, again, just to keep the feedback loop challenge and that they're continuing to find new ways to strengthen through their center line. So that's the A deduction, pulling the carriage out with the foot bar foot. Now if I come back, I'm still aligned with my sternum with the edge of the um, headrest there. I'm going to bring the foot that's closest to the risers across the body. So now this knee, right, and this thigh will be pulling the carriage out, working the A deductors. And same thing, you can use the magic circle here where you push into the circle and pull it apart. You could even lift the arms up and lower them down. Lots of different variations here. For this one, uh, when I hold, it's very difficult, at least for me, to rise and lower because I don't have that inner thigh connection. So I prefer to do a little bend and stretch of the standing knee, trying to keep the carriage still. So again, you can see the carriage creeping in on me. I'm trying to stay connected, trying to keep my outer thigh working even as I bend and stretch. So lots of challenge there. And this just feels very safe, very secure, a little bit different than standing and gliding on the carriage with the two legs. So as a modification, if you have a locking foot bar but no therapeutic spring, you can attach a TheraBand to the foot bar. And um, I just have a little loop on the end here. and then connect it to the shoulder rest. So here again, this is um, in lieu of a lighter spring, and then you can do the full work, right, with this tension, um, which is really nice, because a red spring is 
pretty heavy for this work, at least for me, and maybe um, for many of your clients. So obviously you can adjust the tension on the TheraBand to make it more or less challenging, but that's a workaround if you don't have the therapeutic spring to make it, um, to accommodate for more bodies. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.